Good day. Today we will do a quick testing and assembly of a Siemens piezo injector using the Digimaster created and manufactured by Diesel Center Biotopa. So basically out of everything that we've done and everything that we've tested and all the different manufacturers and everything that we've gone through I can honestly say that the Digimaster is the best at assembling Siemens injectors. It's truly easy, it works every single time and you never have any issues and it's a step-by-step -step process and it also includes a PC program which you can place onto your program, um, onto your PC and you can run it through smoothly any way that you want to, it doesn't really matter and it's a step-by-step -step process, everything works perfectly, instructions also gives you a step-by-step -step process. Basically it's the simplest and most easiest and most relevant form of assembling any Siemens in piezo injector currently manufactured. Basically you can't go wrong with it at all and I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So basically we're going to do some quick tests by switching it on and we're going to do the first test which is internal resistance and internal capacitance of the piezo stacks and the injector head. So to do this we take our black cable we take the polarity side of it cable marked with red for plus has polarity there's another cable that doesn't have any markings on it that's without polarity we don't need that yet so assuming you understand the polarity and which side is plus for Siemens you inject it you plug it in correctly we're coming back to the device and we press OK as you can see it's quite stable, 194 kilo ohms and more than 3 microfarad. What you want to do is increase it to maximum voltage. Currently it's on 100. We're increasing it to 180. And we're checking the kilo ohms. And there we go, it's still 190 kilo ohms and over 3 microfarad. So, perfect. Your internal resistance and capacitance is fine. We remove the cable. We plug in the cable without polarity. And use the other cable to attach it to the actual... Make sure this, uh, this other cable just touches the injector body somewhere. It doesn't matter. I use a staple just to close it up. Keep everything together. Simple though. We move measurement parameters, we press OK, then we move down, leak on the case. We press OK, the answer is 30, perfect. If the answer is 10, it's perfect. If the answer is 1, then you can throw away the injector, there's leakage on the case. All right. Now for the next tests, all we really need is the grey cable, which is our other cable, this cable, and we can remove the injector head from the actual injector. We also need micrometer with an adapter. First thing we're going to do is we're going to attach both the injector head and micrometer together or the micrometer side the adapter together it doesn't have to be fastened tightly you can feel it by hand then you understand alright what we need to do is tightening it with a torque wrench at 40 newtons or 4 kilograms to make sure that calibration for it later on in the process will be perfect. 
so we're tightening it onto the adapter with 40 newtons on the torque wrench make sure your staple doesn't move this is possible there we go now that that's done we can place the micrometer back into its adapter tighten it up place it back make sure it's zeroed perfect now we take the gray cable also has polarity make sure your polarity is correctly plugged in now we go down to Siemens we check elongation we press OK it says 20 volts for micro micrometers we go back to the micrometer we take a look as you can see it says 4 we need to move it up to 140 volts so we press the up button until you can get to 140 volts at 140 volts as you can see we need 40 micro micros we have 44 this is perfect so long you have don't have less than 38 so 40 plus minus 2 is fine then it's working perfect your gizzard stacks are moving apart correctly and you have no breakage or tears inside your piezo stacks now that that test is completed we will move on to the next test which is checking voltage we press OK L14 microns we see 8 microns so because of the 8 we move the 4 upwards to 8 we press OK L2 11 we take a look 17 so we move the, we press the up button to get 17 We press OK, check Volt Siemens, we press down, we want to go into calibration. To be able to calibrate, you remove the micrometer from the adapter, you press OK on the Digimaster to begin calibration. when the calibration is completed as you can see it says calibration OK then we press down again now we want to get to the assembly before we can get to the assembly or be able to start assembling we need to remove the or actually yeah we do we need to remove the adapter from itself just loosen it up a little bit so that you are able to have a better hand grip and easier way to maneuver it connect your micrometer again back onto the adapter take your injector body connect it to the staple that you're using or any holding block that you have this is just to make sure that it's steady attach your micrometer and adapter with the piezo head together tighten it by hand just to make sure that both pins touch making sure that the actual micrometer and the, the injector head touch each other zero it out 
Now that it's zero, remove the micrometer with its adapter. Gently. Now that it's removed, place it into your piezo body. Now, as you can see, we have 928, 0 0.928. This means we need to add about, it depends. It depends on the metal that is used on the shim that you're going to use. If the shims are made customly by you, or if you bought it somewhere from China, overseas, doesn't really matter. Then depending on which metal they used to create the shim, the, the size that you need of the shim to place into the injector body will d differ. But you need to add basically between two and four hundredths to the size. So if we have 927, we need about, let's say, 960 maybe 950 something adding about 30 20 microns is perfect so we move over as you can see you can use the adapter to also to also measure your shims as you can see this shim is slightly bigger it's about 40 microns a little bit high, more about 45 maybe microns higher it's fine that's fine. The Digimaster will still be able to tell you whether it is correct or not. So that's fine. Make sure that the casing is dry before placing in your shim. If the casing isn't dry, the readings won't be correct. Tighten it by hand, make sure it's very tight using your hand. Plug in your grey cable with the correct polarity. Increase the torque wrench from 40 newtons to about 60, maybe 5 and a half, or 55, 60 or 55 newtons. Come back to the Digimaster. As you can still see, it's still sitting on assembly Siemens. We press OK. And a bar will come up. You want to start tightening it and watching the bar. You begin tightening very slowly and you will hear that the sound will change and that's perfect as you hear it's beeping it didn't start, it started beeping and now it's just a straight beep this means that you've done your calibration or, and you've assembled it, it's perfect That's it, you've completed your injector.